nerdrotic.com. Welcome back to Nerdrotic. My name is Gary Beekler and I come to you from nerdrotic.com and this is a video I did not expect to be making, but it comes at the request of Mrs. Nerdrotic because she likes dogs. And we like dogs too. We are a dog owning family. We have three, one medium sized dog, two small dogs. And you know, America loves dogs and, and so does Europe. And uh, so does most of the world, to be honest with you. I mean, what's there not to like about our four-legged friends? They're loyal. Uh, they're there for us when nobody else will be. We dig them. But some people of the two-legged variety tend to be a bit impulsive, especially when it comes to their favorite TV show. Hey, I can't judge. I've got the doctor's name on my arm. But that's a lot different than buying a dog because it looks like a dire wolf. Yes, we're talking about Game of Thrones and Huskies are coming. Rising Huskies at local shelters blamed on impulsive Game of Thrones fans. Santa Cruz and Monterey County animal shelters believe the increase in the Huskies is impulsive purchasing from people buying dogs that look like dire wolves from Game of Thrones. Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter said they've seen a record number of Huskies. I think they are right. I think people started turning them in when they decided uh, the show was over and they weren't into it anymore. Or worse yet, they, they found out that the dog is not just this nice little dog that sleeps all day and will eat two times a day and do whatever they say. Uh, if you haven't owned a dog before and listen part of YouTube is saying things out loud that I can't believe I'm saying but apparently that's part of our job here so dogs poop dogs pee dogs eat dogs are a pain in the ass sometimes dogs will tear up your furniture if you're the kind of person who needs a clean and pristine house I don't care how well trained your dog is your dog's gonna pee on your couch your dog's gonna poop on your carpet uh, I wouldn't even recommend having carpet if you have a dog, and I wouldn't even recommend having new furniture. Everything should be secondhand if you want to have a dog because they're dirty. Santa Cruz, California, Monterey, and Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter said they've seen an increase in Huskies recently. They believe it's because of the popular TV show Game of Thrones. A lot of Huskies and Husky mixes have been coming in, Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter General Manager Melanie Sobel said. She said they have six Husky or Husky mix dogs, and that's the most they've seen at one time. They have seen an increase in Huskies seen in shelters around the state and county. Many are speculating it's because Huskies look like dire wolves from the popular show Game of Thrones. The show has noticed the uptick and is speaking out against the impulsive purchases of the dogs. In, in April, Jerome Flynn, who plays Braun in the series, did a video with PETA. Okay, I don't want to... Uh, I'm no PETA guy, all right? Animals taste great, but I'll agree with them on the dogs thing. Pet your doggo and keep your doggo. Animal shelters around the world are reporting a surge in the number of abandoned huskies because the casual acquirer, uh, the casual acquirer who bought the dog on a whim failed to take into consideration the time, patience, and money required to care for an animal. Sobel said the type of huskies they are seeing are one to two years old. She said people most likely buy them as puppies and can't keep up with their lifestyle demands as they get older. I'll have words on that later. They need a lot of exercise. They need a lot of stimulation. They like to roam. So being sequestered to a backyard is not a good life for them. Sobel said it's vital to put the time in to make sure you know what kind of dog you're getting before you add them to your family. We always tell people no matter what kind of dog you get, you should make sure you research the breed, Sobel said. Make sure it's a good match for your lifestyle and what you want from the dog. Ah, the lifestyle, the lifestyle of an impulsive person who buys dogs because they look like a dire wolf. Buy an action figure, buy a toy, buy a Funko Pop. I can't even believe those words came out of my mouth. But uh, uh, during the month of June, the Santa Cruz County Animal Shelter is offering free spay and neuter microchips for your Huskies or Husky Mix dogs. Okay, as I said before, Mrs. Nerdrotic asked me to do this video, and I totally agreed because I spurged out when I heard it. Uh, I'm a dog owner, like I said, and yeah. So she sent me on some notes just to give you guys an idea of what Siberian Huskies are like, okay? Can be dangerous 
for other small pets like cats. Bred to pull sleds and herd reindeer. Huskies high prey drive means that they, ch they tend to chase and capture small animals such as chickens, squirrels, and sometimes house cats. While huskies can live in harmony with other small pets, make sure they meet before putting them under the same roof just to be safe. And that goes with any damn breed. So many pure breeds in shelters, 5 to 25% depending on who you ask. According to the ASPCA's National Roaming Survey, pet problems are the most common reason that owners rehome their pets, accounting for 47% of rehoming dogs and 42% of rehoming cats. Pet problems were defined as prob problematic behaviors, aggressive behaviors, grew larger than expected, or health problems owner couldn't handle. I'm going to go with grew larger than expected. I agree with you, Melissa. Melissa's smart. Uh, the not so great aspects of husky, husky behavior. They are mis they're mischievous because huskies are smart and curious. They often get into things they shouldn't get into. Bad dog. Stubborn. Well, I can relate to that. They are very good at ignoring your commands. Dog after my own heart. And just doing their own thing. Good discipline can overcome this tendency. Many have tried. Uh, sensitive. Huskies can be very offended uh, when reprimanded and can act like real babies when startled or in pain. Leash puller. They are born to run and pull. They, keep, uh, they, keep, they will keep going regardless of of your tennis elbow or sore knees. Primitive wolf-like behavior. They like to chase cats, sheep, rabbits, birds, cows. I mean, who doesn't, to be honest with you? I love it. Anything that moves. They also exhibit pack behavior and can interact roughly to establish dominance. Mm -hmm. Digging and rolling. Huskies are born to make themselves dens and escape tunnels and roll in some very unpleasant substances. Be prepared for lots of baths. Howling. They naturally call to locate other dogs and to express mood. Huskies singing can be a good and a bad thing, depending on your opinion or the time of day they choose to sing. Personally, I love it when dogs howl. I don't care what time of day it is. Huskies like to be smelly. Uh, yes, there are some dogs that just straight up like to stink. Ask my terrier. Uh, oh, it's really bad. All right, so uh, stating the obvious, if you're really into a TV show, get a tattoo. Buy an action figure. Put a sticker on your car. Uh, write letters to the star of the show or but don't like follow them home or anything like that. Don't do that. Uh, don't buy a living thing. Uh, but apparently this happened with 101 Dalmatians and rabbits and Easter. And, oh, you know, I, I don't even know what to say. Just uh, the fact that videos have to be made, the fact that this is a thing. Uh, this is, I won't even count fandom in this. This, this takes things to a whole new level. So if you did it, you know, listen, we all make mistakes. Just remember, when you take the dog to the shelter, chances are it's going to die. Now, to give you an idea of how big of a problem this actually is, I typed in the word husky, and husky rescue near me is the first thing that popped up. Now, I know the dog is such an inconvenience to your lifestyle, but take the time to maybe even drive the hundreds of miles it will take to make sure the dog has a chance of not getting euthanized. I am currently in Palm Springs, so the closest place to me is the Shadow Husky Rescue Incorporated. Their number is 949-290-3217, and they can e at least direct you maybe somewhere if you're not here in Southern California. I'm sure there's one in Northern California. Depending on where you are, please take the time to do that. I don't mean to judge it. Well, actually I do. You're a bit of an a-hole for doing this, but do the right thing. You can make it right. And I will find a couple and link them in the description when I'm done with this video. Again, I'm on the road, so I'm very limited with my resources right now. Uh, but as a pet owner, uh, you know, and, and Mrs. Nerdrotic was pretty, pretty passionate about this one. So yeah, take care of your dogs. And you know what? Consider keeping it. 
consider training. Yeah, it's hard. Dogs are hard. Life is hard. But you might find something within yourself. You might find out you can be responsible for th something. And you can watch it grow. And you develop that relationship with your dog, which is brilliant. Uh, but honestly, if you can't take care of a dog, even a husky, don't even consider having a child. Please, for the sake of the planet, don't do it. And for the sake of yourself. Uh, because dogs, you know, dogs are dogs. And if you can't handle that responsibility, I think that's a good sign that you, you, maybe you should just, I don't know, just maybe get a turtle or something or a fish, a goldfish, get a goldfish, get a goldfish. Don't even get a turtle. Take that back. All right, everybody. Well, uh, we are close to uh, 100,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. But uh, I'm grateful for what we have. So thank you all the new subscribers. I will be back home making regular videos in a couple days. Hell, I might sneak another one out today. Pet your doggo. Definitely keep your doggo. Give it a shot. But if you can't, search out a place that won't euthanize it, please. Everybody have a great day and may the free folks sing songs of your greatness. Nerdorotic.com, please subscribe.